Hello everybody, and then my name is Hayat Chenet. I will start by introducing myself in a brief period. Uh, I have graduated from computers and from and automatic uh, control uh, about two years ago. And to start by uh, saying how uh, Lifted Airplanes had taken me uh, at the beginning of this year, I decided to be a better, a better person every day. So, uh, accepting me in this course and uh, in what we said to programming, uh, really and, and it gave me my confidence again. And I was still in the back of my and in court, it's first room. Uh, but uh, I uh, I knew that if I would want to uh, achieve something that uh, I can, and if I wanted something, I can do it. Uh, till now, I will start uh, explaining and introducing my uh, uh, project. Uh, as uh, you can see, it's about advertising and uh, how uh, it affects uh, sales and revenues and uh, uh, the market of advertising. So uh, we can uh, we can always think uh, why is the uh, Advertising you get important, but the importance of it. So uh, it really plays a crucial role in uh, the business board. Uh, it helps uh, to uh, create a brand awareness. It attracts new customers. Uh, every company uh, has a different uh, style and uh, is something to uh, to distinguish it from other competitors like uh, Clang or anything. As we all need to know, uh, for example, Mikey has uh, a just do it slang. This is a very good advertising uh, and actually it exists. Uh, also, uh, it builds customer loyalty and uh, it helps the growth in uh, the market's uh, penetration. We have uh, many kinds of uh, advertising. Uh, and uh, each one has uh, the different uh, has the own different uh, way to uh, uh, to affect any consumer behavior. It's like uh, we have uh, like a television uh, commercial. Uh, it uh, can uh, create a strong emotional uh, connections through storytelling, visuals, and sound. Uh, digital advertising. Uh, and uh, this uh, involves many uh, types, uh, such uh, as play ads, social media ads, search engine uh, marketing, uh, etc. Uh, this is the, the power of digital advertising is that uh, it delivers a personalized uh, messages. We also have the spent advertising, uh, it's including papers, magazines, brochures, uh, radio advertising. Uh, it captures the attention of uh, a listener, of listeners, sorry, uh, the outdoor advertising, such as billboard, box shelters, uh, transit ads. Uh, this uh, has a good effect by catching the, like, catch your eye. Whenever you go, you may see uh, an ad. And finally, the influencer marketing and a uh, and uh, this mainly uh, creates a, a very good uh, connection uh, with uh, with customers by uh, um, by collaborating with the uh, like social media influencer, especially the successful one. We have some statistics: so the average amount of money spent on advertising, of course, can uh, the parent on the use the platform. Uh, TV uh, has the, the biggest share of 17.41%, and uh, they are not very different from uh, each other. Uh, the, uh, the less budget uh, for marketing in the influencer marketing, I think it's a new and a, uh, a growing uh, market. We uh, also have the estimated fun of budget on uh, the slide before it wasn't the uh, Estimated average here is the estimated sum of budget spent by, by various platforms on advertising, and uh, those are very, very big numbers. I uh, divided them by 1000. It's 
uh, actually in mailing. So it's really um, a good, uh, it's um, a good business. Uh, this is the expected expenditure of advertising market. It's uh, one billion point uh, eight four million. The really impressive number. Uh, so uh, has it always been like that? No, actually. Uh, in the years between 2000 and 2010, uh, the, the advertising market has been some very terrible in it. Uh, but after that, it was uh, growing. You can see here in this slide that it always it has ups and downs. But uh, the uh, like the uh, the global crisis had the the, uh, the biggest impacts on it. Uh, we can see that the coronavirus pandemic and uh, the Great uh, Recession uh, in uh, those times it was the only time that it had uh, a negative uh, a negative uh, uh, number or a decrease by uh, the uh, revenue. Uh, now we knew why is advertising good. Uh, why analyzing the advertisement uh, goods? Uh, in today's world, it's very important to know uh, how we can uh, impact with the consumers and uh, how we can uh, uh, make our product more successful. Uh, so, uh, in our analysis, we have the impact of TV, radio, and newspaper on sale. And we are going to know which one of uh, these three platforms is the better, is the best for it to uh, gain uh, the best sale. So this is the analyzer result. Uh, we are going to explain uh, each table of the dot. This is our uh, multiple uh, linear regression um, equation. And uh, we have uh, the uh, independent variables and uh, the uh, dependent variable is the the uh, sales, the independent, as uh, I said, is TV, radio, uh, free. Our TV, radio, and newspaper. Uh, for the first table, uh, we have the regression statistics. The multiple R is uh, the uh, coloration of the, uh, is the coloration coefficient. It's a measure of the strings of a linear relationship between the independent and the dependent variable. It can uh, have a value between one and minus one. Uh, one is uh, a positive uh, relationship, uh, a strong positive actual relationship, and minus one is the strong neg negative relationship. And if we had a multiple R uh, that is zero, that means that there is no relationship between uh, the two variables. Uh, in our case, it's uh, 0 0.90, uh, 90 so a good result. Uh, for the R squares, we can see that it's uh, uh, eight, uh, sorry, zero point uh, uh, eighty nine. So that means uh, actually R square is the D, uh, coefficient of determination. It's a measure of how good our fit is. It can have a value between zero and one. If it's zero, that means uh, our fit is very poor, and if it's one, uh, that means we have the perfect fit. Here we have it. Uh, we have the result of uh, zero point eighty nine, so that means around eighty nine uh, percent of uh, the variability in sales can be explained by TV radio and the newspaper. We have the an over table. Uh, we can see that the SS, which is the sum of squares, of squares, uh, is uh, an important variable for us in our case also. Uh, the residual SS is uh, smaller than the total SS, and the smaller, the better. And we have it uh, here, uh, smaller. We have it smaller than the total. So that means uh, our model fits the data. For the X value, uh, uh, depending on this value, we can see that our linear regression model uh, provides a better fit uh, to the data than a model that contains no independent variables. So we have three independent variables, that means, uh, and the F value is the big. Uh, our F value uh, 
the closer the F value to one, the worse our model is, and that uh, the close uh, the closest the the closer for each one, that means the null hypothesis is the two. So here we have this uh, 570. Uh, it's a big number, which can reject the null hypothesis. Uh, we have uh, from the last table, the intercept, which uh, can indicate that uh, we can gain $2,938 if we didn't spend any uh, any budget on uh, market on advertising, the TV and uh, uh, those numbers are divided as I said by thousand uh, TV uh, for um, by controlling the newspaper and radio we can uh, it's predicted to increase our sales by uh, forty five dollars for radio also by controlling TV and the newspaper. We are estimated to uh, increase our sales uh, by one hundred and eighty-eight dollars, and for the newspapers, actually, if we control TV and radio, our uh, sales uh, are uh, expected to decrease by one year dollar. Uh, also, we have the uh, standard error, uh, a measure of how good the linear fit is. So, because the, the uh, the TV has the uh, lower value, that means it creates a very well satisfaction line with the coefficient because the it's the average, average difference between the data points for TV and the regression line, and it's very small, so it's uh, well fitted. Uh, for our uh, last uh, table, also, we can uh, we can conclude that uh, according to coefficient coefficient as the red, uh, radio is the, is the best but uh, we can see that uh, the standard error for TV is the smallest which means it's the, the best fit and according to the p-value uh, p-value the p-value for each term test also with another hypothesis a low p-value which is the most uh, uh, Refers to be lower than 0 0.05 indicates that we can reject to be non hypothesis. So for TV, the fee value is the, the lowest, and that means we can reject to the non hypothesis. But for the new stepper, it's bigger than 0 0.05, and, uh, and this is not statistically significant. For TV, that uh, this uh, no, um, this results uh, this result means uh, that we have a meaningful addition for our models uh, because the um, uh, because the changes in uh, the visit predictors value is related to changes uh, in the response variable. That means we can um, we can like to uh, watch. Uh, the uh, TV changes and uh, make the better uh, uh, the, and make the better predict uh, uh, about uh, the sale. Uh, so, in, in conclusion, after uh, all uh, that, uh, after that uh, analyzed, we can uh, say that uh, TV commercial uh, is uh, the best. Uh, for saving and for gaining uh, profits, and uh, the uh, uh, newspaper uh, is kind of uh, a do. So it's better to uh, invest the budget in other uh, markets, and uh, that would be all. Thank you uh, all for listening. I was thank uh, I would like to thank my mentor, Dana. She was very helpful. She was uh, with me, a step by step, and uh, the facilitator, Rama. Uh, her emails were always encouraging. And uh, my tutor, Sara, she uh, she made her best uh, in this course. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention uh, how my project would uh, impact my past. Uh, for uh, the meanwhile, uh, it's uh, it helped me to uh, recognize how I may. Uh, analyze the anything it's 
not uh, just about the uh, business and uh, the world of business, but like decisions and what's the uh, what's the best decision to make or, or not. And also in the, the business market, maybe after a few years, I would have uh, a capital of uh, money and I would open my own uh, advertisement uh, company. Uh, thank you very much for listening and uh, I hope you were bored. Thank you.